Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about five tips for people with ADHD managing their, or ADD managing their ADHD, ADD during this back and forth of this pandemic because we know we started with hey pandemic hey it's over and no it's not really over so where a lot of people are having to do a lot of back and forth and a lot it's a there's a lot of uncertainty going on with where we're not sure are jobs opening yes they are but no, not really so today we're talking about five things you need to do as you're ma managing your ADHD or your ADD in the middle of this chaos that everybody else is creating first is Keep a list of essentials because with so much back and forth happening where play, pe um, offices are reopening and people are being told, hey, let's come back to work. And we're seeing uh, a lot of the numbers are going back up and places are considering, are we really opening or are we going sending people back? So make sure that you keep a list of essential items. These are the tools that you keep that you need, the, th the things that are helping you manage your ADHD. Because as you're going from home back to work and for, or from work back to home, you want to make sure that you have access to the essential tools, the things that you really need, the things that help you manage and keep your ADHD symptoms um, in check. Make sure that you have a list so that when they come to, the, to your office today and say, hey, we're working from home tomorrow, you know exactly what to pack. You're not rushing to figure things out and then you get home and realize, oh, I needed this or I needed that and the office is closed. So make sure you have a list of essential items so that whenever you're having to go from one spot to the other, you can bring all those with you to make sure you have everything you need. Two, make your resources as portable as possible. I, I know I talk, talk about the calendar and things that beep and I, one, of my, one of the things that I always recommend people do is the whiteboard. Make, and Anything that you're using to help you stay on task, the, anything that you're using to help you manage your ADHD, see if you can have, make it portable or have a portable version. Because some people, and I know that I'm guilty of that because I always recommend that people have those larger boards because with the larger boards, it's easier to see things right from across the room. But if, if, if bringing that board back and forth is, is difficult for you, one of the things you may, you may opt to do is get a smaller board that you can use at home and that way you, have, you keep your larger board in your office or find a, ver find a way to condense or make the resources that you use, um, your color coding system, whatever it is that you have that you're using. See if you can create a portable version that you can start um, when they are shifting you from one place to another and things are going, you know, haywire that you ha you can take with you. Three, take your time. The world doesn't know what it's doing. Your, your employers, your everybody, the, your decision makers, nobody, know what they, nobody knows what they're doing. They're all trying to do it and look like they know, but they really don't. So take your time as you adjust to the, 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 order or the decision of the day that's going to be changing tomorrow. As you make these adjustments, take your time. Don't try to rush it. When people try to rush, that's when you start um, stumble a lot more. That's when you have a lot more difficulty. That's when, that's when you have, that's when things go wrong is when you try to rush it. Take your time. Adjustment takes time and that's okay. Take your time and adjust to everything as, as it comes. Hey, there's this, th today there's this decision. Okay, you deal with this decision today. Tomorrow there's a new decision. You're going to deal with that decision today, but take your time because when you don't take your time and you try to push through or you try to go without your system because, you know, right now things are chaotic, that's when you start missing things. That's when you start making mistakes. That's when things start go going wrong and you start falling off. So make sure that you're taking your time to do things in your own time Yes, the world will adjust because right now things are just the way they are and that's what we do. Four, stay connected to the essential people. Your, your therapist, if you have a therapist, if you're, if, you ha if you're seeing a psychiatrist for medication, make sure that you're keeping up with those and your accountability partner, especially your accountability partner. Make sure that you're, st you're staying connected to the people who are essential to helping you manage your ADHD. Because 
with all that is going on, you need those people who help you manage even more. But with all that is going on, it is so much easier to say, oh, I can't do it now, but let me do it later. I can't do it this week. Let me do it next week. Make sure that you're staying, if you have an appointment with your therapist every Tuesday, make sure that you find a way every Tuesday to get to that therapist appointment. If it has to be virtual, make it virtual, whatever you got to do, make sure that you're keeping up with the essential people who help you manage, who help you stay on task, who help you thrive with your ADHD. Five, keep up with your self-care. Chaos means that you're asking so much more of your body, of your brain, of everything. You're asking a lot. So in order to do all those things, you need to be taking care of your body. Making That means making sure that you're doing, you're eating well. And I know we've talked about the importance of making sure that you're eating healthier because that helps with managing ADHD, getting the, the right amount of sleep. All of that is important. So make sure that you're doing it. And of course, making sure that if you have medication to take, make sure that you're taking your medication and you're doing whatever other things are necessary to help your medication work as it should. Self-care is going to be critical. And yes, the life-affirming activities, that is part of self-care. Even though things are chaotic, it feels like we don't have enough time and we have too much time at the same time. Make sure that you're taking the time to have some fun, to engage in some life-affirming activities to remind you that, hey, life is still awesome, even though it looks like, you know, chaos. Quick recap. One. Keep a, keep a list of essentials. That's anything that you need that helps you manage your, your ADHD symptoms or your ADD symptoms. Keep a list of essential items so that whenever you have to shift from one spot to another, you know exactly what to bring with you. Two, make your resources for, make some resources portable because as you're having to shift from different working location, different working environment, you may need to, you may not be able to always bring things as they have been. So make sure you have, you, tr- you do what you can to make some resources portable so you can have them with you. Three, take your time. Decisions are changing every day. Things are happening on the fly. And we really don't, the people making the decisions don't know what they're doing, but that's not your problem. Take your time as you adjust because when you take your time, you get things done, you get things done right. But when you try to rush it, you make, you are more likely to make mistakes and you're more likely to not do things as you would have liked. So take your time. And finally, uh, actually, no, four, stay connected with the essential people, your therapist, your accountability partner, your psychiatrist, because you need them right now, even though it feels like you don't have time to deal with that. So make sure you're keeping in touch. And finally, keep up with your self-care. You're asking a lot of your body. You're asking a lot of your everything. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're asking a lot of yourself. So take care of yourself so that you're able to provide or to perform and do all those things you're asking. As always, If you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that even right now when so many things are so chaotic, there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need the help, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.